let's get started today we are going to create storm using trap code tau so let's create a new composition rename the composition as texture change its size to 500 by 500 pixels frame rate would be 30 seconds and duration would be 15 seconds Right click on the timeline, click new and click solid. Rename it to texture. Go to effects and preset and add fractal noise effect to this layer. Go to transform, uncheck uniform scaling, change its scale width to 3060, change its scale height to 6. Great. Go to project window and create a composition using texture comp. Rename it to inverted underscore texture. Open this composition. Now go to effects and preset and add invert effect to this layer. Now create a new composition. Rename it to final. Change its size to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click OK. Add inverted texture and texture comp to this to the timeline. Hide their visibilities. Right click on the timeline, click new and click solid. Rename it to tau. Click OK. Now add trap code tau effect to this layer. Go to segment, change segments to 1275 change sides to 340 uncheck break sides camphor and also cast changes twist z to 360 Go to fractal displacement, change fractal type to multi smooth rich, change space to segment. Now change amplitude to 55 and change frequency to 100. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. Click stopwatch next to evolution and change its value to 500 now move the timeline to 15 seconds change its value to 0 again move the timeline to 0 seconds and click stopwatch next to offset z change its value to 1330 Again, move the timeline to 15 seconds and change its value to 0. Now change complexity to 10 
and also change oct multi to 0 0.6. Go to seamless loop, change loop evolution to 500 and change loop z to 1330. Go to individual amp and frequency, change amplitude x to 0, change amplitude z to 0, change frequency x to 30. Now change frequency y to 320 and change frequency z to uh, 55. Or change it to 50. That would be perfect. Go to material and lightning. Change metal to 100. Change fresnel to 95 and also change diffuse hold out to 100. Let's look at once. Go to image base lighting, change built in environment to sunset field. Change exposed environment to 1.4. Change reflection strength to 335. And change diffuse strength to 120. Now go to texture. Change color texture to texture layer and also change specular map to inverted texture. Now change texture scale y to 5. Let's look at the layers. Now go to shader, change shader to smooth, go to world transform and change world rotate z to minus 70, Go to effects and preset and add black and white effect to this layer. That's it. Now right click on the timeline, click new and add a camera layer. Choose preset to 50mm, click OK. It's hidden. Just go to camera options and turn off depth of field. Uh, it's back. Go to transform. Now move the point of interest to a bit left. 893. Now change. The Y point of interest to 570 
and z to 1.5. Move the position of the camera to around 740 and move the Y position to uh, would be I would say 1600 or 1655. And in the end, move the position Z to uh, minus 600. Perfect. Go to camera options. and change aperture to 100 pixels you can also change the zoom of the animation as per your need let's check the animation once let's play it once It looked great. Perfect. You can also add camera blur option to the towel layer. That is folks. If you like my tutorial, hit the like button. If you don't like the tutorial, just dislike it. If you have any suggestion, just provide the comments in the comments box.